this is the Don's Dino scene. As you can see, it's the dinosaur walking around. It comes with Messiah on its default install. The way it's set up is there's only one deformer, it's the bone deform. And currently, because that's active, if I animate it, you, it immediately gives me feedback based on the deformation of the bones. If I were to go in here and turn it off and come back out, anything I do to those bones will no longer work because the bone deformer is not applied. So turning the back back on, and you can see that it's working now. A good way of um, decreasing the computationally expensive bone deforming on the mesh, if you have scenes with lots and lots of characters, is to bake that motion down into an MDD format. To do that, you click on Customize, go down to Save Morph Sequence, make sure you have the object selected, pick a path where you want to save it, here I created a folder underneath the T-Rex folder called MDD. I'm just going to call it T-Rex low res underscore 02. And now I'll just click generate current morph sequence. And as you can see, it creates a sequence of morph in the MDD format. And it happens fairly quickly. And we'll just wait for that to finish. There we go, it's all done. So now in setup to make that work, we just turn off the bone deform, select the T-Rex object, and in effects pick demorph. Click the little plus there to create it. And then in demorph, you click load sequence, pick the MDD file that you just created and it says objects replacement mode is incompatible with MDD and MC files and has been turned off. So that's just a warning to tell you that uh, you've now made this uh, model incompatible with that feature. So we'll agree to that. So now if you'll remember last time when I turned off bone deform um, the animation was not there but now when we scrub you see that the animation is there and you'll also note that when you change the bones at all, nothing happens. That is because the op the motion has been baked. And because of that, turning off the bone deform and even deleting all those bones is a possibility and it will save the scene a lot of computational time and your only bottleneck then is your um, computer's ability to access that MDD file. So a relatively faster hard drive uh, is is more important at this point than uh, the speed of your processor. So hopefully that's uh, uh, clearly demonstrated to you how... Uh, let me just turn that off. So now there's absolutely no bones and scrubbing still gives us an animation. So hopefully that's demonstrated how to you clearly how that feature works and uh, you can utilize it in your own scenes with lots of complex characters involved.